Hi guys, the front page of the Hindu yesterday carried this news item. Sri Lanka detains 13 more Indian fishermen. Now, detention of fishermen, especially between India and Sri Lanka and India and Pakistan, is a very regular piece of news. It is almost every day in the newspaper. So, I thought about uh, what logical question can be asked around this issue and uh, I thought of asking something about mapping. So, the first question read, consider the following statements. The same latitude that touches Chennai touches Sri Lanka as well. And the second statement read, the same longitude that touches Chennai touches Sri Lanka as well. Now guys, uh, you ought to understand why did I choose Chennai only? Why did I not give any other city of uh, um, Tamil Nadu? Now guys, UPSC certainly has asked uh, questions, mapping questions based on cities. And in this particular aspect, when I'm comparing India with some other country, it is very difficult that UPSC will give some city which is not amongst the most important in India. So when we are talking about Tamil Nadu, the most important city, of course, is Chennai. Whether you talk about GDP-wise or you talk about population-wise, um, Chennai is certainly uh, most important. And when we are talking about some other country, it is most likely that this city will be chosen. The other thing I wanted to test is your concept, very simple concept perhaps, of latitude and longitude. In fact, this would not even be considered a question. I mean, this is sixth class students understand the difference between latitude and longitude. So, uh, the important thing in this question was the location of Chennai, guys. So, the important cities of India, Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi, uh, Hyderabad, Bangalore, uh, Kolkata, you know, the location of these cities is really important. You must observe these kind of things when you open your map. Uh, also, uh, the important physical uh, aspects also, it is not just political geography, political map, but also physical aspect, physical map of the country. You have to keep an eye on the latitudes, the longitudes, Tropic of Cancer, uh, you know, all the physical uh, features, the important ones, notable ones, whatever catches your eye, just, just keep on observing the relative locations. These can come in handy. So, uh, if we look at the question, the options were one only, two only, both one and two and neither one nor two. Now guys, let us come to the next slide to quickly uh, solve this question. Perhaps you might have already solved it, but just let us uh, look at the map and do it in a little bit of detail. So here we have the map guys and the only thing needed was to know that Chennai is located in the top northeastern part of Tamil Nadu. So uh, if this information was known, this question would have been pretty easy because since childhood we are used to seeing India and Sri Lanka in one map only and you know that Sri Lanka is towards the uh, uh, southeastern part of India and uh, uh, Chennai is on the northeastern part of Tamil Nadu. So touching of latitudes is not possible. In order for latitude uh, to touch two locations, they have to be parallel to each other and not vertically distanced. So this is the first aspect, the first statement, the latitude statement is incorrect. Now coming to the longitude statement, longitude means vertical uh, lines we are talking about. So certainly guys, there's a very high likelihood that uh, Chennai is a longitude that touches Chennai. There will be many longitudes that touch Chennai. One of them might touch Sri Lanka as well. There's a high likelihood because Chennai is a coastal city. Sri Lanka is very close to India towards the southeastern part. So... Uh, Unless you are confused that Chennai is towards the, uh, you know, southeastern uh, part of Tamil Nadu, not the northeastern part. If if you think that Chennai is somewhere on this coast, then the longit uh, longitude uh, statement would have confused you. If you were knowing that the uh, location of Chennai is north of uh, uh, the mid of Tamil Nadu, then it should not have been a problem. This question could have been solved through logic, just a minimum amount of knowledge, just this is, I think, class sixth knowledge only uh, required to solve this question. So the answer to this question is bravo, that is two only, and most of you have identified the right answer. Let's move on to the second question now. This question was certainly more challenging than the previous one, guys, and it is evident from these percentage figures Almost uh, equal is the share of the replies of all the four options, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie and Delta. Now, this is good. Confusion is good, guys, because it shows that you are thinking about the question. You, Your mind is getting teased 
and the more you think the more logic the more critical thinking the more logical thinking will mature so i did put in a lot of effort a lot of thought into making this question and let me know in the comment section uh, how you feel about it so the question read consider the following statements the coastal districts of tamil nadu okay the coastal district means all the districts not some of them all the districts of tamil nadu coastal districts are amongst its largest in terms of population and the coastal districts of tamil nadu are amongst its largest in terms of area that is geographical area so guys both of these concepts are actually interrelated if we have uh, more population somewhere if the population density is high the size of that district the uh, geographical area of that district will not be very high because district means uh, the size of a district is dependent upon the number of population that district is governing so if we have more dense population that is population congregated in a smaller area the size of the district will certainly be less and if the population is more widely dispersed uh, the the size the geographical area <coughs> of the district will be higher now let us see a map of tamil nadu and then uh, look at these statements once again so the number of people in a region or its population will depend upon how easy is it to earn a livelihood if earning of livelihood is easier we can have more population because more people will be attracted to that area and if it is difficult to earn a livelihood in certain regions population will naturally be less if we look at the physical map of tamil nadu we know that it has got uh, hilly regions also western ghats eastern ghats we've got uh, the plains regions also and then we have the coastal areas right uh, if we look at the political map of tamil nadu we have the district of chennai in the top northeastern corner chennai certainly has got the highest population of all the districts it is a metropolitan city we all know that but is this true for all the coastal districts okay coastal districts will mean any district that has got a coastal boundary so will it be true for all the coastal districts that all of these districts if for example there are 10 districts which are coastal we don't know how many of them are there just let us take the figure 10 if there are 10 districts and if there are 20 districts in total in tamil nadu so all of these 10 coastal districts will rank from 1 to 10 in terms of amount of population number of people in that district right so do you think that is uh, uh, a likelihood it's actually very difficult because i told you earning of livelihood is a factor how easy is it is a factor in uh, determining the uh, about a population in a region and uh, tamil nadu is a water scarce state right it is regularly in news about river water disputes with the neighboring states so agriculture is difficult and if agriculture is difficult uh, what easy economic activities can be there we can certainly have tourism we have western ghats eastern ghats uh, tourism is a strong activity we could have mining in these regions right so compared to the plains especially the ones which are uh, where the moisture the soil moisture is less right the Uh, this uh, dark brown color shows very dry and light brown color shows dry so you can notice the southern states especially and uh, in the middle and the uh, western uh, districts they are uh, very dry regions of tamil nadu so these uh, these regions will have less population uh, but if we look at the mountainous regions these districts will have higher population because of tourism and mining activities so going by this logic it is very difficult to say that all the coastal districts of tamil nadu will have the largest population of all the districts of this state right so we can negate the first statement now the second statement is comparatively easy the second statement said all the coastal districts of tamil nadu are its largest in terms of geographical area now this is difficult because we know that chennai has got very large population but it has a uh, smaller size because the density of population is very high and if we look at the uh, if we observe the map of tamil nadu we know that there are regions where agriculture is difficult so in these regions population will be dispersed more widely so certainly there will be uh, some districts which are larger in area than chennai at least 
okay so we just need one district which is larger in area than any of the coastal district and we just need uh, one district which is larger in terms of population uh, compared to any of the coastal districts of this state so we can mark the answer confidently so that means uh, neither the population criteria nor the geographical area criteria will stand correct and the best answer to this question will be neither statement is correct thank you for watching the video guys if you liked it please don't forget to lassi which means like share subscribe and comment and uh, also uh, all the important links will be given in the description thank you very much see you next time